Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to make a DIY boho wall hanging for my living room to go with my new furniture. So I'm going to bring you along in the process. I went to my local hardware store and I bought this furring strip. Cheap wood, I think, well, the last time I bought them they were like $2. Now they're $5 because, you know, wood. And then I measured it and I just cut it on my, um, what is that, miter box thing on my living room floor. And then I just sanded it so I don't get slivers and we're going to stain it. So this is what the hanging is going to be supported by. I also bought for the back some D-rings that I can screw into this wood. The screws aren't this thick. And then I will hang it on that. And I also purchased, and I'll show you when we go in the house, but I purchased some gray rugs that I'm gonna use. And I also am dyeing yarn. I know, crazy. Just to hang in between to add some color. So let's get this staining and then we'll dye some yarn. All right, guys, what I'm using here is Jocko Bean wood stain. It'll probably take the last of what I have, and that's okay. And then a disposable. All right, these are the yarns I dyed. I decided not to show you just because it's easier to just go buy yarn. These are acid dyes and natural wool. So it's just easier to buy it, trust me. But these are the colors I got. They have to dry and then I can bring them in. All right, first thing we're gonna do is put these D-rings on. This is the wood that was stained. It's all nice and um, dry. I want to put the D-rings on before I attach anything. That's how we're going to hang it on the wall. I don't think it's going to be too heavy, so I think two is going to be sufficient. And I marked with the ruler two inches up and two inch. well, the width of the ruler up and two inches in. I think I may want to come down though. So let's see here. Because I would like the hanger to be hidden. So I think I want that like the hole could be a half an inch up. So there we go. In that way it'll hang here and that should be able to hide the um, anchor or most of the anchor so what we do okay most people will probably get the drill out but it's just a screw I'm not too concerned put that hole there and just screw it in this is not hard wood by any stretch of the imagination um, so let us ah let me get this started I'm trying for you to see and for me to see. And I'm sure like people who do real hardware and stuff would drill a pilot hole to keep it from doing things, but I'm not I'm not doing that. So there we go. Got the hole started. And get it straight up. There we go. And now when I put the picture hanger, it'll hook into here. So give me a minute and I'll do the other end. All right, we got our, oh, sitting on something here, tools sitting on tools guys all right we've got our anchor on what I've done is measured in three inches from the end and then I'm gonna staple I just have a regular old staple 
this rough into this wood. And you just want to make sure you're kind of going straight across so that it, you know, it lays even. But I'm just using plain old staple gun. There we go. It's on. And you want to make sure if your rug is directional that you have it the right direction, which I do. Then I have this yarn that I dyed, and I also have decided I didn't want the teal in there, so we're getting rid of that. And then I kind of just created a pattern, right, on the other end. So we have the mustard color. Then we're gonna go with this burgundy color. And these are kind of earthy, maybe even like considered a bit fall, but I don't care, because I like them. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta go with what you like and not necessarily what somebody else likes. And this really fun rust color, it's gonna go in the center. And then we're gonna go green, purple, gold. So I'm scooching up here, got my staple gun. And on the other side, I get them pretty close on this end. So oop, we've got there we go. That color gold. And then we're going to put this burgundy in. And you just want to kind of get them pretty close together. Uh, green. This coppery color, which I love. And then we'll go back to the green. And guys, this is it. So the yarn was $8. I dyed it myself. And what I've said before is just buy the yarn that you like. If you're going to do something like this, you don't have to dye your own. I just happened to have the materials. So I did it. I just bought the yarn to dye. I didn't need to get the chemical, the chemical dye. It's called acid dye. Um, but you also need dedicated pan to cook it in. You need dedicated utensils. There we go. And then I'm just going to kind of make sure everybody is in where they need to be. And then I'm not trimming anything yet till it hangs on the wall. Then we'll give it a haircut when it's hanging so we know everything measures properly. And that is it. All I'm going to do next is the center piece here. I'm going to put the, the, um, the colors in the middle. And then I'm gonna hang it on the wall, which may take a minute um, just to be even because I don't want it off kilter. So I'm just gonna measure and hang it on the wall and then I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. Okay guys, there is the finished product. I love it. I could not be more pleased with how that turned out. And for less than 20, something like $25, let's see, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, for less than $25 and a couple hours, done. And it's a very large wall piece. Like that just says statement to me. Oh, I'm so excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed my DIY. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.